I don't know, so far this area seems like it could be either a little bit easier or a little bit trickier than the previous, like, what was it, Magic Crafter's World. I kept calling it Magic Crapper's World because I'm just the number one comedian on the planet. Nobody's funnier than me. You best remember that. Anyway, I think one thing I remember about this area is, like, I want to say that one of the hardest levels in the entire series is here. I think it's called, like, Treetops or something like that. I really do not remember. I fell in the water because I'm stupid. What else is new? Let's see what else we can get from these cool fireworks. Alright, well these things look mean. Let's see if I can ram into them. Here we go. Bam. Okay, well I got knocked on my ass. Fire? Fire. Fire is the answer I was looking for. Fire! Here you go, buddy. I need to heal up. A little butterfly. Okay, that's not a butterfly. The dragonfly is green. Which means that I'm like, super close to being dead. Okay, well that did not throw anything in my favor there. That was good. Good job, Spyro. I keep falling in the water because I guess I just don't know how to do platforming anymore. The jump button is just completely obsolete in my in my eyes. Who knows, man? Ooh, hey. I'm finding all sorts of goodies. Look at all these nooks and crannies. Treetops! Here it is. This is the level I was talking about. Yeah, this level I want to say is like jackass 3D level hard and generally the Spyro community shuns this level. Like, I don't know if the level is necessarily hated but like I do know that the level is uh, a little bit more disliked because it is hard and I don't necessarily know what makes the level hard because I don't think I've ever played it. Hey look at this bad boy. Too bad I don't have a key. Should we go looking for this key? Let's explore the rest of this area real fast, and then we'll figure out what level we want to do. I will come to a decision there when I come to a decision there. But for now, look at all this stuff I'm getting. Alright, well, I need to find a way to, like, kill this asshole. He's gonna, like, zap the shit out of me. And that's not gonna make me very happy. Here, do it again. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Do it again. And he's dead. Just takes a little bit of timing guys are no match for me. Ugh, got him. I barely made that one. Alright. I got a good rhythm here. I'm just, I'm knocking this shit out of the park now. I'm gonna go heal up by eating some of these chickens. Cause I love chickens, Eddie. <laughs> I wish I could do a better Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Hey, Balloonist. I feel so sorry for all the dragons still trapped in crystal. Yeah, me too. It's pretty shitty. Maybe once you've rescued 50 dragons, I'll feel a little better. Alright, rescue 50 dragons, and then he'll probably carry my ass to the next world. How many dragons do I have? Uh, 47. He said I only need 50, so I need to rescue three more and I'm done. Apparently there's one more in this area, so wow. I am just super, super good at overachieving goals in Spyro, what can I say? I am just always ahead of the curve on everything. Oh, come on, come on. That was that was a big sack of badonkadonk, and you know it, game. Oh, fuck me. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. I need to get more used to playing this game. Because I've been playing so much other stuff lately. All right, well, there's more treasure up here. Where does this lead? Just takes me right to where I was going. Cool, works for me. Let's scale the pyramid. Pick up the goodies. Let's treasure 300. I don't know if I'm going to be finding all 300 pieces of treasure in this area, but I will do my best. Also, I didn't really mean to fall, but shit happens. What can I say? There's gotta be like, is there a way to get to like the tippy top of this bad boy? I feel like there's probably something up there, but if I can't get up there, then that's that. What is that? Terrace Village? Should we just go do a level now? We've been kind of been looking around. We, we, oh, there's more stuff over here, though. I'll continue looking around, I suppose. Continue doing stuff. There's another dragon that we need to find. So, wherever he's at, we'll be busting him out of frozen carbonite. Oh, there he is. Wow, he's in, like, a really obvious place. He is way out in the open, and I'm over here like, Hey, I wonder where this guy's at. 
sure there's another dragon, man? I'm not seeing him, man. There's all sorts of treasure, too. Hold on, dragon. Oh, fuck me. It's an ambush. It's an ambush, and I died. That was just cheap. That was cheap as fuck. That was just... Like, wait, what? Come on. That was... That was bullshit. They just put a random enemy around a corner where I can't see him, and he just kills me. That is, like... Like, not even Dark Souls strikes that below the belt. Uh, it does. It does. That's a lie. But come the fuck on. That that just hurts my head. I don't even remember what I was doing. Yeah, I was gonna go rescue this dragon, and then I got rudely interrupted by these fucking asshole Pumbas. Warthogs. I'm gonna call them Pumbas. I like that. Because it reminds me of the Lion King. And anything that reminds me of my childhood is good. A dragon named Cletus, really. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I gotta go. It's like a New Orleans dragon. Alright, well that's that. I can go finish collecting my treasure in a pig-free environment. Fuck you, Pumba. I always liked you in The Lion King, because you were just so charming and chubby and fun to root for, but now... The tables have turned, and I don't like you anymore. Alright, well now that we got that guy out of the way, let's go do a level. As is the typical flow of events here. What is this? Terrace Village? Yep, this is the one I was planning on doing. I guess I'll save treetops for later. Considering it's supposed to be a, a hard level. I wouldn't mind getting it out of the way, but... I don't know, dude. Something just doesn't sit right with me about that level. Treetops... Just sounds sinister. Just sounds evil. Tree tops. More like tree Satan. Da -da -da. Wow, this is very green. Everything in the Beast Maker's world is extremely green. I'm not really complaining. I don't mind the color green. I do. I do like to smoke some weed. So the color green is okay by me. These guys have got big shocky batons still. What the fuck? Get away from me, please. Don't- Ow, oh, you ass! You fucking piece of shit. Oh, man, I thought I had that in the bag. Alright, what, what am I doing here? What is going on here? Am I supposed to ram into him? Alright, cool. A little less complicated than I had initially kind of thought it might be. What the fuck is this? Oh, wow, we get a little stealth kill on this guy. Bam, stealth kill! He did not hear or see me coming, even though I was bashing open chests as loudly as possible. Oh shit, are you fucking- god damn it, dude. I really just don't like dashing in this game. It is just too hard to control yourself in a narrow little space. It seems like no matter what, I fall and I die, and it's stupid. It makes me mad. It makes me fucking mad. It just makes me want to avoid cliffs at all costs, because I know I'm going to hit the square button and go careening to my death. Look at this guy, he's got like laser, not laser guns, but electro-shocky guns, it's all the same to me. What the fuck? Okay, well this is like where I got fucked over last time, so... Ow, he shot me. Fuck! Fucking boobies. Boobies in my butt. Ugh, get out of here. I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna dodge and dodge. Son of a fucking bitch. I swear, there's just no way. There's There was no way. All of the enemies... Re are you... Ugh. All of the enemies require, like, timing that I just don't possess. I don't know why I'm so terrible, but... You know, it'll, it'll all come together one day. I promise. I don't know why. I feel like I really suck at this game. <laughs> I feel like I suck quite a freaking bit, but whatever. It's okay. So, uh, sometimes you're just not the greatest at stuff. But you do it anyway, and you come out a bigger and better man. And you find treasure. Haha, -ha, like this. With some clever jumpy jumps. I do kind of like this area, though. It's neat looking. Very green, I already mentioned that. This is where I came from, isn't it? Motherfucker. Well, at least I can heal up. Go ahead and eat that. And then we'll move on. Following the map this time, which is something I literally never do for whatever reason. 
The map is right there in front of my face, and I'm just like, nah. Who needs a map? Maps are for pussies. You know, it's not for pussies. It's getting a free whatever that is. It's like a one-up. I think those are one-ups, so that when you die, you don't have to, like, restart the whole game. What does that say? No skydiving? Okay, well, I will follow those instructions. I don't know if I can go down there or not. I think I, yeah, that's where I fell and died last time. So jumping down there would be a pretty bad idea. I gotta say. Oh, fuck, I forgot about these guys and their electric platforms. Rescue Claude! Hey, he's a GTA 3 character. I love that guy. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. Yeah, it fucking sucks. It sucks, and it is gonna cause me to die a lot. But whatever. Can that guy hit me from, like, way over here? I bet that guy definitely has some ranged attacks, so... Alright, well, here I come! Spyro Flight. I'm gonna run away, because I don't want that guy to hit me. I, I still don't know what all of his attacks are. So if he can hit me from range sort of snipe me from way over here. That would be bad. That would be bad for obvious reasons. My god. Another ambush. Another ambush, Spyro. What are we to do? What are we to do about all these shenanigans? This isn't even the quote-unquote hard level. This is like, uh... I don't remember what this level is even called. I always forget the names of everything in this game, and ow. That's... I fucked up. That was my bad. Also, I'm gonna need, like... Huh. I'm gonna need either a cannon or a supercharge arrow. And I'm not really seeing either just yet. But I've not given up hope in the search. Oh, don't fall down, bud. Don't fall down there. Spyro, if you fall down a cliff, I will literally hate you forever. I need to kill this chicken. There you go. Heal up again. I'm taking a ton of damage. I'm dying a lot. This has been not very successful. This recording session could have gone much better. For the record, I'll be the first to admit that this recording session kind of went to, to poopy doo-doo land. Fuck, alright, well I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to time this like, a, oh no, son of a fucking bitch. Ugh, hold on, hold on, let me get this all good and figured out, there we go, there we go, get out of here. There are a ton of enemies in this area. Almost reminds me of a boss here, I'll, I'm gonna go for this guy first. Yeah, fuck you playing your little staff like a guitar, like you mean something, like you mean anything to Spyro the Dragon, you have any idea who I am? Son of a bitch. I used to have this demo machine at GameStop, the kids went wild for it. Not quite as wild as they went for like Mario 64, but what I can remember, the whole demo setup they had for that in GameStop or whatever was nuts, but I don't think Good I was... Job, Spyro. Like, I don't remember exactly when Mario 64 came out. I want to say it came out in like 1998. Me too, Spyro. This swamp fucking sucks, but at least we got all the dragons. We can actually leave the Beast Makers if we want, which I wouldn't mind doing, because so far this place sucks nuts. God damn it. It is everything that this world can do to screw me over on a constant basis. Oh no. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm not some kind of sado masochist. Honestly, I have never liked swamps in any video games. And that dates back to when I was a young boy. Playing, uh, what, what do you call it? It was like, uh, a game that I don't think anybody, I think I might have been like the only person on this planet that has played the game that I'm talking about. But it's called Draken 2. And it was honestly a really good game, and it was a game that I played a lot when I was a really young kid. And it was probably one of the first, like, I guess, quote-unquote, violent games that I ever played. Like, it wasn't, like, it was still rated M, but it wasn't, like, a super-duper, like, violent, grotesque game. It wasn't anything near to the extent of, like, God of War or Grand Theft Auto or anything, but it was still rated M. Still had blood and guts and... Might have had some boobies in it, I have no idea. Alright, let's go ahead and be patient and wait. Who should I take out first? Let's probably take out this guy first. Alright. Alright, boom. Problem solved. Mission to Oh god, we got the... T I'm gonna call these the toaster turrets. That's what they look like. They look like fucking toasters, and they're, they're clearly turrets. And I... Ow. 
I took a big ouchie there. Whatever. Made up for it. Took some damage. Gave some damage. There's the return home portal. That looks really inviting right about now. That return home portal looks amazing. It looks super good. All right, but anyway, back to my swamp story about why I hate swamps. When I was a kid playing Draken, there was a swamp level in that game that, like, went... It just went on forever. It never fucking ended, and it was the hardest goddamn level of all time. And you had to fight, like, these weird giant, like, Mark Zuckerberg lizard creatures, and you also had to fight giant spiders, and, like, it was, it was a gauntlet. And it was a dark, dreary swamp, and it was, like, super fucked up. <clears throat> and I remember at one point, there was, like, somebody getting tortured, and that really disturbed my little child brain. It just wasn't a good time, and it scarred me for life in regards to swamp levels. I don't like swamp levels. I don't like stuff along those lines. I don't know. Right, well, this, this looks like it could suck. Looks like there's plenty of room for error here. Alright, here I go! Bam! Alright, one down, two down. Yo, I'm gonna guess that there's like 300 treasure in this. 400? Fuck me in the butt. Another level that I probably won't bother 100%ing. Guys, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I don't think I care about 100%ing the game anymore. I don't think I really ever cared. I thought it was just a fun little thing that I might try to do if the odds panned out in my favor, which they sort of did in the beginning, but now it's just like, I'm pretty indifferent to the whole thing. But hold on, I did just discover a whole new, like, chunk of the map. I discovered a new part of the level. What can I do from up here? I can see all sorts of cool, hip happening stuff. Look at this guy. He has no idea what's about to happen. Oh, no, Spyro! Okay, whatever. That works, too. That works, too. I got a skill point. What the fuck was that skill point? I gotta know what that skill point was for. What was that for? Uh, uh, scare six norks into town. Okay, I already looked at that one. Uh, reach the tricky platform. Uh, no electric floor damage. Wait, what? But I, I did get damaged by the electric floor. I mean, thanks, game, for giving me the skill point anyway, but I definitely took a few hits from the electric floor. Not that one specifically, but, like, I definitely got fucked around a little bit beforehand. Whatever, at least the game is being nice to me in my time of need, considering I'm just in a, a land of suck. Alright, what do we do now? That was a quick level. I didn't do everything, but... I told you I wouldn't, so... What are you gonna do? Sue me? Do it. Fucking do it. You go find a lawyer who will pick the most frivolous case possible, and you sue me for telling the truth. Alright, well we have all 50 dragons we need, but we've only done one of the levels, so... Definitely want to do all of the levels, except for any of the levels I've potentially missed. Which, I don't think I've missed any, but... It's always possible. I don't like these enemies. I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, see? Your little stupid platform sucks. Okay, yeah, take that. So give me that one-up, yeah. I think those are one-ups. I really, like... Do not know. I should probably look up what those do. Uh, also, I don't remember how to, like... Oh, okay, I can just go this way. I'm stupid as fuck. So, Terrace Village is completed more or less completed. What is this over here? Uh, the Misty Bog. Let's do Misty Bog then. Get out of here, you fucker. You big, fat sack of shit. Bug-eating motherfucker with your meerkat best friend. Dude, when I was a kid and I saw the Lion King, I thought that Timon and Pumbaa like, they just made eating bugs look delicious. I was like, dude, what? That is so cool. I want to go eat bugs. I want to go outside and stuff my face full of bugs. Why the hell not? Turns out there are many problems with that <laughs> with that idea. <laughs> Though I will <clears throat> I will share a brief tale. This is a true tale of how I made uh, easy ten dollars when I was about ten years old. I don't know if I was ten years old, but I did make ten dollars. Wow, this area is beautiful. Look at this. This is super vibrant and pretty. This is green in a good way. 
Like the rest of this air. Oh, what the fuck? Ew. Out of here, you son of a bitch. Go for a swim. But anyway, uh, oh, I just got a trophy. Cage free. I guess it's because I freed the chicken. That was a random trophy. But anyway, I just interrupted myself again, so that's always good. I think I kind of finished up and got to the gist of what I was saying. Or did I? I can't really remember. What was the story I was telling, God damn it! I hate it when I get distracted and interrupt myself and I can't remember what the fuck I was trying to say. I hate it. And I, can, I have no one to blame but me, because I'm dumb and easily distracted by stuff. You know? That's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. If I did start the story and not finish it, then I apologize, but I think, I think I sort of finished it. I got what I wanted out of it. Bam! Another one-up thingy. Got an enemy. Are these enemies, or, like, are these just the dudes that I... Okay, yeah, those are enemies. They have, like, Pokemon. What the fuck? What kind of Pokemon do these look like? Like, I can't think... Of, I, I don't really know Pokemon as well as I did when I was in, like, fourth grade. Ow, did I just die? I think I did. Well, I'm about to die. Well, there's all sorts of different enemies in this area, and I'm gonna have to learn how to fight them. As is usual, I just sort of go in guns blazing, like, Hey, let me get all the treasure! And, of course, I pay for it. 